What's up, kings and queens? It's your girl, Essentially K. If you are new to my channel, welcome, hello. If you are returning, what's good, y'all? So, um, I don't really know what I'm even going to say in this video because, like, I know what I want to talk about, unfortunately. Um, we're going to be discussing today everything that happened yesterday. This video, I wasn't going to record because at first I was like, you know, Kayla, you need to preserve your energy, your peace of mind, all of those good things. Um, but I feel like I should just speak my peace and let it be and not talk about it no more. But I actually had another video planned for today's release um, or tomorrow. So I'm recording this video today, but I'm dropping it tomorrow. So I had another video planned but with everything going on, like, I just don't even feel like dropping that video. So I'll drop it maybe next week or whatever. But today I really just want to talk about white people and their privilege. Um, before we get started and before anybody says anything ignorant in my comments, um, I am not talking about all white people i'm not saying that all white people do these kind of things but all white people do have white privilege you might not use it like everybody else does but i'm specifically talking to the white people who chose to use their white privilege and spider-man their way up into the capital so if this video is not something that you're interested in or it's a two sensitive topic for you or too touchy or you feel like it hits home for you um then you may be one of the people i'm talking about but i'm not trying to bash anybody absolutely not at the end of the day what i'm about is energy positive energy positive vibes good energy high vibration so i'm not trying to tear anybody down but i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything either so if that is not okay with you thank you for watching up until this point um yeah, but we about to get into the nitty gritty. And I'm not going to hold y'all for long because, I, like I said, I just really want to speak my piece about it and let it go. I'm not going to let this whole situation consume my mind because black people have enough things that they deal with day to day that consume our minds that we need to release. So I'm not about to add, you know, these white people problems to mine. So all I really want to touch on, if you guys haven't seen, which I'm sure you have because it has been blasted everywhere on the news on social media in conversations literally everywhere you go what happened yesterday i will show you a clip here the world watching what america looked like today the mob storming the barriers pushing through this door capitol police unable to hold them back others smashing through windows at the capitol there were so many chaotic moments, the tense interactions with Capitol Police overwhelmed, members of Congress and their staffs rushing for cover, reporters told not to reveal their whereabouts. This image tonight of a man walking through Statuary Hall carrying a Confederate flag. Another startling image from inside the office of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Some trying to breach the House chamber, armed security barricading the door, keeping them out. Behind them, members were taking shelter, some of them on the floor, some told to grab their gas masks to protect against tear gas. In an empty Senate chamber, this Trump supporter at the front of the chamber declaring Donald Trump won that election. The march to the Capitol following those words from President Trump, speaking to his supporters, who he invited to Washington, saying, you have to show strength, telling them to march to the Hill. And as nightfall approached tonight, the heavy presence, the National Guard joining local police and the FBI, the curfew now in effect, and of course, so many questions tonight. How was this allowed to happen? Where was the security? With the president encouraging these protests for weeks now. So yeah, as you can see, yesterday at the Capitol building in um, Washington, D.C., there was thousands, <laughs> literally thousands of patriotic people is what they're calling themselves. Patriotic people, Trump supporters, who decided that they wanted to storm and breach the Capitol building. So before I say anything, I just want to let it be known, which y'all already know, most of y'all anyway. Had that been a group of 10, 5, 2, 
black people, that whole scenario would have been totally different. So like I've mentioned before, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, born and raised, right? Which has been in the forefront of media and news and everything all year long because of the Breonna Taylor case. So what baffles me is that we were protesting in Louisville for months, peacefully protesting for months. And every single occasion, either people got tear gassed, there were many, 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 many police officers and National Guard people with their guns drawn. Um, there were people who were snipers. And if I can find a video that I recorded on Instagram one time when I was there, because I literally went through and just counted all the snipers on top of the buildings who were ready to shoot us peacefully protesting at any moment, right? And we didn't not nearby have as many people there that they had at the Capitol building yesterday. Were we a threat? Absolutely not. We were peacefully protesting, peacefully marching through the streets. Through the streets. We weren't trying to breach any buildings. Yet, all these police officers and National Guard, National Guards were ready to shoot at any given moment. Yet, at the Capitol, there's thousands of white supremacists, domestic terrorists. I don't care what anybody has to say about it. That's what they were, domestic terrorists, period, period. And I will even put in the definition of what that means. But the white supremacists that were at the Capitol building yesterday, literally, basically walked up to the police officers, to the security, to all of those who were there to protect the people in the building and that building itself. They basically walked up to them and was like, what you gonna do? Nothing, move, and got into the building. It's just crazy to me that the first, the very first excuse that any white person gives, police officer gives, when they shoot and kill black people is that, oh, I was scared. I feared for my life. Yet, y'all didn't fear for y'all lives when these thousands of white supremacists pretty much pushed their way through you all fought their way through you all. What's crazy to me is that y'all shot and killed 12-year-old Tamir Rice. 12-year-old Tamir Rice. Shot and killed a little boy because out of quote-unquote fear because he had a toy gun. If you're a police officer and you can't identify a fake gun from a real gun, seriously, what are you doing? But y'all shot and killed that one little boy because you feared for your life from a one from one 12 year old boy with a toy gun that was not even pointing it at you. But all of these domestic terrorists that had weapons, visible weapons, were able to storm their way through all of the security, all of the police officers. And y'all wasn't scared. That wasn't a reason to at least fire a warning shot. Okay. In my opinion, they let them through. That was, there was no, there was no way in hell. And I'm sorry, mama, because I'm just expressing myself and I know that you watch all my videos. But there's no way in hell that those people got through without having the help of those who should have been protecting the building and actually protecting the people inside the building. They let them through. They basically gave them the keys to the Capitol. Period. Period. Even though there was way more of them than there was security and police officers, 
Um, I think eventually they called the National Guard in and some local police officers from like neighboring states and stuff. But even though there was more actual people there to breach the building, they never even defended it. They never even put up a fight. They never even defended it. They walked, walked in. They sat in, they sat in the offices, y'all. And you mean to tell me there's still white people out here that says white supremacy is not a thing, racism doesn't exist, white privilege is not a thing. If you are one of those people who still to this day think white privilege is not a thing, you are literally choosing choosing to continue being ignorant because it was plain as day everybody knows it had that been a, a thousand of black people or even less two one had it been a 12 year old boy they would have shot and killed him before he ever got over the barricades that's not even near the actual building yet yeah, y'all like these are white people spider-man they way upside the wall Bust in there, bust through the windows. At the end of the day, I'm just sitting back and watching it. It's, it doesn't change anything about the day-to-day -day for a black person. It doesn't change the fact that I am still right now in more danger as I'm about to go to bed in my own apartment, minding my own business than the people who actually committed those felonies. You broke into a federal building and left unscathed. Y'all, they shot Breonna Taylor in her home. They fired 22, I believe, 22 shots without even seeing. Didn't know what they were shooting at, so they say, Eight of those bullets hit her. Blindsided someone in their home and immediately shot. These people bullied their way into a federal building. Had it been black people, it would have been thousands of casualties yesterday. Had it been black people, it would have been thousands of body bags. And I don't care what anybody has to say about it. It's the reality. The reality is that we can't, we're not protected in our homes. We're not protected on the streets. We don't have to do anything for us to get killed and gunned down in the street. We don't have to do anything to get pulled over and get beaten, if not killed and taken to jail over absolutely nothing. Y'all, like I said, I'm not trying to keep y'all for long. I'm just kind of speaking my mind on it. Because once I put this video out there, I'm not about to keep talking about it. Because at the end of the day, it don't change nothing for black people. Black people still going to get shot and killed by police officers. Black people still going to deal with the same stuff that they deal with every single day. White people are still going to walk around believing that they're above the law. Which, at this point, they might be. They might be. Because look what happened. So, I'm going to just sit back and watch the white people who defended blue lives, which is dumb anyway. There's no such thing as blue lives. Those people put on a badge. They take an honor and an oath to put on that badge, to step out in that field of work. We don't put on a black badge. We are black every single day of our lives. We don't have a choice to be black. Although I still would, even if I did have a choice. Police officers have a choice. That is their line of work. They know what the risks are. So I'm going to sit back and let the white people who defended the blue lives continue to beat the blue lives um, that they were defending. Dumb as hell. Dumb. But... I don't know, y'all. Um, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all can talk back to me in the comment section. How do you feel about it? 
Um, what I will not tolerate, though, is just ignorant comments. So all of those will be blocked. Um, but, yeah, this is just some discussion. I'm just giving y'all the real real because, like I said, I was not planning on filming this video. And even if I did film it, I wasn't going to release it. So I'm probably not going to edit anything. Um, I might just put a couple of the clips, pictures, or a quick video or something in. But I'm not about to do a bunch of editing in this video. I just want y'all to get my true reaction unfiltered and unedited, I guess. So um, I will see you guys back for the next video. It will not be about this because... We moving on in 2021. But I hope that you guys are having an amazing rest of your week. Um, do what you got to do. Release whatever energy you have that's not serving you. And keep it pushing. Don't allow the news and social media to consume your mind. Yeah. Got to do what you got to do to stay at peace and to stay in a good energy space so i will see you guys back for the next video and yeah peace out